Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. I'm Mark. I'm with Steve. We're here in San Rafael on a rainy day, but keeping warm here and, and talking about Fonica Pro 10. And um, you're going to take what you did a little bit earlier about uh, audio and talk a little bit about photos in Fonica Pro 10. Right. We're going to continue our trek through the sidebars of Fonica uh, Pro 10. Our trek through the sidebars. Yeah, so. A little sidetrack into the sidebars. Donna, can I have a sidebar, please? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to look at photo sidebars today. Okay? All right. So. Here we are in a sidebar, the photos and uh, audio sidebar. We looked at, you know, GarageBand and iTunes before. Yes. Now we're in the photos, okay? Now, this assume, what I'm showing you here assumes that you're using Apple's Photos app to store to, your pictures, to store your pictures uh -huh. and catalog your pictures. And if you're using something else, they're not there going to be anything there. <laughs> there's not going to be nothing. <laughs> nothing is going to show up. Never mind. All right. So here's some photos of a recent uh, trip with uh, my friends uh, to... Uh, the little snow bowl in Arizona. Beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's just beautiful here. So I'm just going through this. And before we go any further, I should point out that with, with Final Cut 10.3's new workspaces, you could really get a, a really nice view of your photos oh. by going up to the window menu and choosing workspaces. And I created one called Photo Browsing. Okay, so you, you customized the interface and saved it as a custom workspace. Yeah, so look, nice. so now I really can see my photos and, uh, you know, really nice. Hey, there, I'm just sitting there in the <laughs> snow here. <laughs> but um, yeah, you could, you could see everything really, really clearly. Nice. Now, I don't want to see all my photos, I, just the ones I favorited. In uh -huh. the Photos app, you can favorite. With a little heart. With a little, now, heart, right? little yeah. heart, right? Yeah. So, it's gotten very simple. Right. So, so I'm going to go here and choose favorites. Oh, okay. all right. You right? can filter by favorites. You can filter by favorites. Mm -hmm. It's reading the metadata. Okay. And you're looking at a particular uh, a photo set. event. Or... Yeah, I'm looking at a particular photo event. I'm looking yeah. at a collection. From, oh, collection. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, you could look through years, albums. I'm, all I, the ways you can sort within all, the Photos app you have access to right here. Absolutely. So there I'm looking at a particular date range, and I'm looking at favorites from, from that date, date range. Okay? So I particularly like this photo a lot, and I'd like to see what it looks like in kind of monochromatic. I'd like to... Okay. So what I'm going to do is control or right-click on there and choose Reveal in Photos. Uh, I want to do some editing on this, so I'm going to open up the Photos version of their inspector. Mm -hmm. right, edit photos. And I'm going to go down here to this adjustment setting. And I want to just turn it black and white here. Well, here you can, you can play with, you know, the exposure, the color section, all the typical things yes. you want to do with a photo. Yes. And you got a histogram. Okay. This is all... You can go crazy. You can go crazy. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and click this, this strip here for black and white and then enable black and white. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to play with these sliders too much here, but I, just, I maybe want to just give it a little darker tone. I really want to yeah. make that the punch. trees pop yeah. against the dark sky. It looks great. And like. That looks infrared. Looks, yeah, I just think that looks pretty neat. So I'm going to go ahead and click Done. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to toggle back to Final Cut Pro 10. And sometimes you don't see things right away, so you might have to click off of you know, one of the sidebars and click it. back into it there. Uh -huh. And now look, the there thumbnails. it is. Yep. It's been updated. Now, one thing about this is that the thumbnail updates, yes. but the viewer doesn't. The viewer doesn't. Viewer doesn't. So, in order to see it, yes, you, you, you got to put it in a project. Have, yeah, you have to put it in a project. So, in this case, I'll drag it over here to. Oh, photos. you're putting it into an event. An event. Okay. Sorry, okay. not a project. An event. So, if I go in here in the photos, there it is. There it's, we go. Okay. So, within the photos browser, it's not showing the update. Uh, it is in the thumbnail, but once you drag it into once an you, event in your library, right. it's good. Right now, which is, which is what you want to do anyway if you're going to use it. Right. So, I'm going to go ahead and choose reveal in photos and go back and go back into the edit photos area, and I could revert back to the original. This is all non-destructive, right? which is fantastic, right. okay? Um, let's say I might want to add like an Instagram, Instagram-y type filter, right? Yeah. Very Instagram, right? And I'm gonna click done, okay? And I'm just, just adding a completely different look to the yep. photo. Jump back into Final Cut and refresh. Refresh there, oh, look at that. There, yep. there it Thumbnail's is, thumbnails updated, updated. Uh -huh. drag it in here. Drag it into photos, okay? Go back into, uh, take a look. Now I have my black and white version and, and my Instagram one. Oh, so you can create multiple versions and then these are kind of baked. They're baked. These are baked. That, you can yeah. always go back to yeah. the photos one to make other changes, okay. If I do a nice. reveal in Finder, nice. look, it brings it, 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 you can see it put, it baked library. them into JPEGs with these weird names, full size output, CB-7 JPEG. <laughs> Try to relink to that if you don't know what the heck those are. <laughs> 
<laughs> but what's right. cool about this is you can generate some multiple different versions to have access to, and they're all right there as, yeah. as separate, kind of like snapshots of these states yeah. of the photos and choose what you want, you want Look, to use in your project. Will I use this all the time? No, but it's it's nice to know. I can yeah. jump into photos, make a change, yeah. and then have it available to me. Because my first instinct would be to do that editing in Final Cut and use the you know use some of the effects in Final Cut to do that, but there's a whole different level of control you have in the Photos app that you can take advantage That's of, right. which is really cool. I nice. think this I is like a, I think it's a great little tip. Very useful. Yeah. Very useful. Awesome. Yeah. Hope you guys found that useful. I certainly did. We will see you next week here on MacBreak Studio.